many activists have been categorically stating that all American workers, if you work for somebody, they should be in some sort of a union where collective bargaining can work. And I don't care if you're in a small business, large business, whatever business. And with that should come uh, some other uh, some other programs or policies to make sure the playing field is level, whether you're a large corporation or a small corporation level playing fields. And that requires several things. That requires all workers to be unionized. It also requires a healthcare system that is not a, a part of the labor system, meaning no company should have to have a department handling healthcare. That should be outside of the company. But anyway, uh, people are starting to see why. Take a look at the Walgreens and CVS folks. They're having a slowdown or they're attempting to do a slowdown because these guys are being worked like horses, harder than horses. I mean, they're they, they're subject, subject to making mistakes because in order to make a profit, these companies are working them to the bones. You go to a CVS, you go to a Walgreens, most of the times, your prescriptions are not ready. You have to stand and wait for a long time. Again, because in order to keep the bottom line uh, constantly rising for the select few, the people that I call the the biggest, the largest definition definers of parasites, they are just stripping employees of everything to be able to get more money to the profiteers. Listen to this about uh, Walgreens and CVS, et cetera, and then we'll take it on the other side. Pharmacy workers at CVS and Walgreens have reached their breaking point. Pharmacists at both companies have now launched a series of walkouts over what they call increasing workloads. And you can see it if you go to the oh pharmacy. Oh, my God. We've been seeing this for, the, it's crazy. for a year. And CVS, CVS. You and, cannot and, and, get a prescription. You have to go there at least three <laughs> times and the app is always wrong. And and, and and they're making billions and billions of dollars. Yeah. They're cutting employees. The ones that are left there working are always overmatched they're strung by out the, it's just it's in I, bad moves. Again, it's just another example and we see it time and time again. You see it in the healthcare system where so many Americans can't even get a doctor. Come you can get a physician's on. assistant. You can have the best insurance company insurance in the world. And you, you, you'll never see a doctor. They have too few employees. They do. You stand and let the, it's the, insane. The lines are 15, 20, 20 people long. You wait for 45 minutes to get your prescription. They have too few employees. And that's going to lead to Similar to mistakes. another great industry in this country, the airline industry. Right. Too few okay. pilots. Now you're scaring Too me. few flight attendants. Okay. Too few TSA. Oh, too, too few TSA agents. I was going through uh, JFK uh, uh, a week or two ago. It was on a Friday. One line. One TSA line, and, and the lines just wind, wind yeah. around the airport. You're sitting there thinking, of course, that's a government deal. But again, you're sitting there thinking, uh, especially on business, everything, everybody's so obsessed about squeezing the last cent out so they can have good earnings reports every quarter. They're all playing for Wall Street. Nobody gives a damn, not only about their customers, they don't give a damn about what's good for America. You look during covid we found out, oh, wait, we're, the Chinese and the uh, and Indians are making like 98% of our pills. We don't have pills here. If China no. stopped, oh, we, we don't make masks here. We don't make ventilators here. We don't make anything here because everybody is squeezing the last, not penny, the last 0. 0.001 yeah. cent out of every profit curve. And Jonathan here, I guarantee you, we all go to different pharmacies in different states. Yeah, we I'm all have the same for problem. Different. And that is CVS and Walgreens and everybody the else continues comes to last. slash. Not because, not because they have money problems, but because they want to make bigger and bigger and bigger profits. And people are going to die because you can see these pharmacy workers are so harried or so exhausted or so strung out. But they're going to make mistakes. Yeah, it's a universal experience right now. And I'd add, this also comes to pharmacies having these slowdowns and shortages at a moment where people are supposed to be getting their flu shots or getting their COVID boost boosters. And you're supposed to be getting that as pharmacies as well. And that's another potential consequence. Yeah. We've had days at our pharmacy where they're just closed altogether. We mm -hmm. couldn't get people to come in and you go, well, I need the thing today. Well, we're going to try to send it to the other 
right. uh, CVS yeah, or the other Walgreens, yeah. there's no or guarantee it's going to you have to call back. And, then... and you feel, just as you do with flight attendants and pilots, you feel for the people working. Yes. Right. right. Not you, you're so grateful for them to be there, but yes. they're stretched to the max. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, morning, Joe. Joe Scarborough, you're getting there. You're getting there. You're starting to realize that in healthcare, in 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 drug delivery, in drug manufacturing, in, dr in all these areas, the market simply doesn't work because if you are using the market for something that has no real I mean, if you get sick, you have to be cured. You don't have the choice of saying, well, you guys charge too much, or if you guys are provide too loud to service, I am just not going to go with you guys anymore. Anytime you are in a system where the where the the people who provide the goods and services can hold you by the pelotas because you must have them. You must have it. And those those are the particular areas where it is impossible for an unregulated market, and for that for and, and what I would say is that a market all a, a, a wild market altogether cannot function. And you know what? When these people, especially somebody like Joe, is saying, "Look at what the companies are doing. They are trying to get as much profits as they can." Yes, maybe they should unionize these workers, folks. Uh, what happened? What started to happen in America? The big three had to call, they had to go ahead and finally give the people the large raises that they deserve. They had to capitulate, and one after the other, because of the because of the evil, because of the greed, because of the obscenity of the way these guys uh, cut everything for profits for the few. We are going to converge where we need to converge, but if we have to do it before the, the, the actual oppression from the plutocracy come into fold. We've got to do it. And you know what? When you have a Joe Scarborough sounding like a progressive, you know things are changing. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.